Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Anditesh Ordo, and today I'm going to be do it. Finally, be doing my predictions video for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I feel like you know what? It's time to get this one out there. And thanks to the release of Dark Side Territory Battles, um, the Imperial side of the Hoth invasion. Um, yeah, I'm ready to do my predictions. So my predictions are not going to cover December because December is obviously <clears throat> uh, my my thoughts. Ninety to ninety five percent going to be nothing but characters from um, uh, for uh, the Last Jedi, the movie. So we're obviously going to get New Resistance and First Order characters. I hope they actually add in like. Um, uh, what's his name? Dang, I'm thinking of the name, and I can't remember the name. Um, uh, General Hugs for, like, First Order. They could have had him, like, a long time ago instead of the Imperial Officer. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, so, yeah, we're definitely going to get those guys next month. Um, and of course, the time I'm saying this is at the end of this month, so, yeah. Um, so... Starting January, my prediction is going to be bounty hunters. Bounty hunters all the way because, one, everyone's been asking for them. So I don't see why they cannot always add a rework of bounty hunters. However, one thought is, is they could always just rework bounty hunters and then bring new characters out January. Rework next, the beginning of next month or, you know, maybe starting tomorrow they do a rework of bounty hunters and some of the Empire and just leave them as reworks only. And then start the new characters come out the next few months after December. So, but for the most part, yeah, I'm I'm stating that bounty hunters is gonna should be number one. <clears throat> I, I'm saying as a prediction and a true thing that it should be bounty hunters number one. We can still get imperial characters. We've got two this month, earlier this month, earlier this week, and it's like let's just push towards bounty hunters. So, <laughs> yes, bounty hunters is where I would love to see. <clears throat> the characters being added, you know, we got tons of characters, like, in this list, we only have two of the, no, three of the th six characters, uh, we could use Forlum, Zuckus, um, Bosk, we could even use Jango Fett, Imbo, those would be just, you know, right there, just adding those characters, using Jango Fett as the legendary event, <clears throat> where you need bounty hunters to get Jango Fett, bounty hunters or scoundrels, probably just bounty hunters, um, then, uh, then the other ones just be quick marquee events. You get the bounty hunters, and yeah, you'll be able to s start going off. Um, of course, yes, there's always the downside of not being able to do all the territory battles when they fix um, the dark side territory battles. But for the most part, yes, we are going to be... <clears throat> um, I, I, I hope those are the bounty hunters we get to the start. And then maybe... Um, June, July, we get a few more bounty hunters, a few more random bounty hunters added in. But for the most part, the ones I would love to see added in is Bosk, Zookas, Forlum, Django, Fett, and Embo. Just five characters, one being legendary event, four being marquee events, and we'd be set. Um, Zookas and Forlum could just be a one, a single marquee event to, as a together event. So, yeah, you know, let's get bounty hunters. So that is January. That's prediction for January. February is none other than the Galactic Empire. We need to rework some of the characters. Maybe not all of them. I still say General Veers still needs a light rework. Take away the penalty of the negative, um, the AoE that, that he uses with uh, calling all Imperial troopers to assist. Um, <clears throat> Emperor Palpatine and Royal Guard still need a rework. I feel like Royal Guard should still always you know, taunt as long as Emperor Palpatine is in or on the battlefield. And Emperor Palpatine needs two Zetas. He needs the Zetas to be better. Um, there's a lot of talk on the forums that Vader should get a rework, um, or at least a light rework. And I agree with that to an extent. Like, I would love to see, you know, like a unique on Vader because he has three abilities and a leadership. Yes, add a unique ability, you know, maybe to do some more damage against you know, <clears throat> rebels and Jedi, and maybe um, say like, like, uh, like, um, you know, maybe Vader can't be countered going against just those two factions, or maybe at least just um, uh, rebels. 
you know. So Vader can do his AOE and no counterattacks from a Commander Luke Skywalker lead. I think that'd be awesome. So yeah, that that is February. February, that's what I feel like. Those, you know, those uh, few characters, Vader, Palpatine, Rogar. But then we can still, like, the the... We still need a couple more Imperial Troopers. We need... I, I feel like they need to add, like, five to six Imperial Troopers into the game. Um, give Colonel Stark a leadership ability for Imperial Troopers. So there's two Imperial Trooper leaders. Um, and then we have, you know, two sets of Imperial Trooper teams that you can make. I feel like that would be great. Because Imperial Troopers... There's so many Imperial Troopers. And honestly, I could see it where... Um, Half are given as free to like, like you can add like maybe six characters, um, into the game. Uh, six like Imperial troopers. Like you still have a couple from the uh, Rogue One, like one or two, depending on you know how you feel. Um, we have the tank trooper that is not from Rogue One. We can still add the tank trooper in. You know, it's another uh, tank option. Um, either the tank, tank trooper and maybe the tank trooper dr captain driver, you know, something of that nature. So then we have those two taken care of. Then we can add a scout trooper. I feel like a scout trooper would be great to add in, you know, support. And I feel like that type of scout trooper or recon trooper would be a, <clears throat> uh, one with a, the sniper rifle that you see in like so many fan art and not just fan art, but they've, you know, used, or like even Battlefront 1 and 2, the original Battlefront 1 and 2, they use, their classes use sniper rifles. So I felt like that is the essential of, you know, having that scout trooper. Then you got like the sand trooper commander or scout trooper or storm trooper commander where, you know, he's a healer, you know, have a couple of like healers, maybe a cleanser in there. Um, there's just a lot of variety of troopers that could still be added in that we're unfortunately missing out. Um, and then the last, obviously, rework I've, I just realized I forgot to mention is Death Trooper. Death Trooper could still also work with Th Grand Admiral Thrawn, or they add a Imperial Officer tag. Just an Imperial Officer tag, nothing to support it. Just leave it as an Imperial Officer tag, um, just so that it's easier for, like, Death Trooper to support, you know, Imperial Officers. And maybe in the future, another couple of, um, <clears throat> another couple of, you know, characters will support imperial uh imperial officers um and and finally with the wrapping up the imperial um prediction because i'm going all the way to may uh, wrapping up the imperial prediction is going to be none other than adding a few of the imperials from star wars rebels i feel like agent callus can still be in there and if they don't do the fulcrum version they do, they plan to do the imperial rebel version i'm fine with that um because we get the imperial version where he has this awesome bow rifle thingy that's kind of like the uh, uh, Garazeb Aurelius's weapon. Um, then you have, there's a couple of other characters that can be easily added in. Um, you got, like, maybe Governor Price is an option. You got Rook, uh, Thrawn's, you know, assassin. Uh, so, yeah, there's quite a few different uh, characters that can still be added in for Imperials to support Imperials. Easy. So that is, that is February. So March... Um, when I go to March, I feel like this would be a big time, um, you know, big time to support a, and love Dark Side. These first three months <clears throat> would be great for, and that is a uh, separatist. March prediction is separatist. We still need a lot of work on separatist. They've, you know, worked on more ships here and there. They've worked on, um, they, they just, they just need to work on separatist. Separatist would be great, especially excuse me, especially when they decide to start adding more territory battle, um, uh, fields. And the next prediction of the territory battle, dark side and light would be none other than battle of Geonosis. I can easily see battle of Geonosis being in there. I would say if they want to do something for the new trilogy, I would wait until <clears throat> episode nine has came out to do a territory battle light and dark for that because then they can compile all the movies together and find the best battlefield that they could use for um the the territory battle but for episode but I, but of course this is a this territory battle add-in of battle of geonosis i would rather like to see this one probably i don't know maybe like close to next year so we kind of, you know, get these ones, get used to these ones, and then they can start rotating. So when it's a dark side, it'll be this one or this one, light side, this one or this one. 
Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, that's just my thought on that opinion for Battle Genosis. I can easily see that one being the next uh, territory battlefield. Um, and I would like it. I think a lot of people would like it. This way we can get a good uh, Re Galactic Republic and Separatist, you know, character added into the game this way. Um, so, yeah, Separatist is one that we still need. Like, there's, you got droids within Separatists. You got the Geonosians within Separatists. And Geonosians still need a rework. Poggle could use a super rework. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, Separatist, Separatist is really where I want to see, um, see the characters. Um, uh, so, yeah. So, the next one, yes, I want to add a new faction for uh, April. I want to see Mandalorians. We've had a ton of Mandalorians added into um, the new Star Wars canon for, uh, from the Star Wars Rebels TV show. We still have the Death Watch from Clone Wars. Um, I still feel like also this would be a great time for the Star Wars franchise to go, okay, we're going to actually have Jango Fett and Boba Fett be Mandalorian and you know they get a couple of different stories like maybe I would like to actually see a Jango Fett origin story um but uh though you know that that talk is about a future a future video I'm still planning as well but Jango or for the Mandalorians I I feel like it'd be great to see you know uh Mandalorians make it into the game um we still have one Imperial Mandalorian that is like the brother or cousin of Gar Saxon uh, I think it's like Tar Saxon or something like that. Um, and he was in, uh, in, uh, storm tr jet trooper, storm trooper armor. Uh, he's, and he was, you know, in the, the trilogy, uh, the, the two episode arc of, uh, the heroes of Mandalore. And so, yeah, that, that specific, um, you know, that specific, uh, character, would be great to add as a Mandalorian. Um, of course, he'd still be Imperial, so he can be added either, you know, during the Imperial, you know, rework, or even during this one. <clears throat> but for the most part, yes, uh, Mandalorians would be great to add in. Uh, we already have four, if or three, if not four, in the game already. So we got Gar Saxon, the um, Imperial Super Commander. They're still Mandalorians. Um... And we got Sabine Wren. She's a Mandalorian in the game. So that's three. Of course, I still say, and still, and still, I'm still true to it uh, from the Legends timeline, Boba Fett and Jango Fett are still Mandalorians. So Boba Fett, you know, would be the fourth character uh, to be a Mandalorian, even though he, his main role right now is a bounty hunter. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, yes, Mandalorians, Mandalorians actually... Be, uh, being added into the game, I think would be a great time to add him in. It'd be a brand new faction. Um, and there's another reason, <clears throat> there's a couple reasons why I would say add Mandalorians in. Um, I would just say this one would be, a, I would consider this one to be a big month because um, I could see them adding at least, you know, 10 to 12 different Mandalorian characters into the game. Because um, you got Sabine's family, first off. Um, Sabine, uh, Sabine's brother, ma mother, father, if we ever get to see his armor, which we have yet to see, um, there's just, you know, there's just a lot of different characters added in. We had, um, oh, that one Mandalorian pilot, Finn, uh, Finn Rao, we had him added in, but then, then we've also had a lot of Death Watch from Clone Wars that could have been added in, like five Death Watch characters added in, and yes, I'm going to... Um, say I, the, there's a reason why I want to see the, um, you know, the five Death Watch characters added in, and you'll see why in another upcoming video I'm going to talk about. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, wait for that one as well. So yeah, Mandalorians, I think it'd be great for, um, April. I would love to see Mandalorian faction make it in. I feel like, you know, the big three factions, uh, in Star Wars history, at least mainly on Legends, and it's starting to incorporate into canon, is it's been, you know, Sith and, you know, their factions within Jedi and whatever factions they're aligned with. And then the Mandalorians. And then sometimes whatever factions they're aligned with. But mostly it's just Mandalorians, Jedi, and Sith are like the big three. Even though a lot of people call it the big two of, you know, Sith and Jedi. But 
I still feel like Mandalorians always have played a part. Like, they've either fought against Jedi, or they've even fought against Sith at times. Uh, like, in KOTOR 2, Knights of the Old Republic 2, you know, Mandalorians, you fight alongside Mandalorians. So, Mandalorians tend to, you know, choose a side at times throughout history. So, yeah. I feel like that would be a great add-in. And then, finally, in May, we obviously are going to get characters from the new Han Solo movie. So there's no doubt about it. We may get a new Chewbacca. We're definitely going to be getting a young Han Solo. Of course, these ones I don't think would be considered Rebel. I think they'd just be Light Side Scoundrel. Which, I would at this time, I would be fine with adding a couple of Light Side characters. Mainly because um, a lot of the Dark Side characters... Uh, if they actually go with the route that I just suggested, you know, my, January through April, a uh, ton of dark side, it'd be, you know, nice to add a little few light side in here and there. But but then again, we never know what they're really planning. So um, I still say I, I can still predict around April if or no, March, if we don't get separatists, we're probably going to get, unfortunately, more rebels because of the rebels TV series is going to end around this time between it's probably going to end, I think it's going to end about February, if not the beginning of March. So I can easily see, you know, it's a wrap up show. We're going to add a few characters from there and they might just not just do rebels. They might just do rebels and Imperials <clears throat> and, you know, the few bounty hunters that have been in the, the show or care, uh, scoundrels, you know, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know, but this is the month I will say I do predict interchangeability. Um, but for the most part, yeah, this is where I want to see, you know, where I would like to predict and like to see, you know, be made. So we got January Bounty Hunters, February Empire, March Separatists. Of course, they may, like I said, they may do something based on, you know, finishing up of Rebels. They may just add in a bunch of characters, um, dark and light, and just, you know, get them out of the way so they don't ever have to worry about Star Wars Rebels anymore. You know, and, and if they do that, you know, I'd be fine because they'd still be adding Imperials. They'd still be adding some scoundrels like uh, Visago, you know, maybe his uh, Visago's, you know, partner droid, um, a, an old Hondo, <laughs> retired Hondo Onaka, I don't know, <laughs> or veteran Hondo. There you go. It'd be veteran Hondo, you know, veteran pi pirate Hondo. Onaka. <laughs> that would be interesting. So, and then, you know, April would be Mandalorians, and then obviously May is we're going to get the uh, new characters for the Han Solo movie. So, but yeah, that is, like I said, that's my predictions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree with these? Would you like to actually see it in this order? Um, uh, would you dis you know, would you disagree, etc.? So yeah, again, let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I do appreciate you guys watching this video, especially it's been 20 minutes of me a little bit rambling about each faction, but I kind of got had to get those thoughts out there. So yeah, again, you enjoy your day and.